And speaking of the Idaho Food Bank, like we were just a moment ago, the organization is seeing an increase in demand. Now your support is vital. Now joining me this morning is Chief Development Officer for the Idaho Food Bank, Morgan Wilson. Morgan, good morning and thanks for joining us. Good morning, Matt. Thank you for having me. Of course, first question for you. How much of an increase is in demand is the food bank seeing? You know, it really varies community to community, um, you know, as do those job losses and overall need. But we're seeing a consistency around the 30 to 50 percent overall. And some of our partners are actually reporting a 100 percent increase in the need week over week. Gotcha. Now, right now, there are three facilities up and running for you. How are they working with communities to provide help? Absolutely. So the Idaho Food Bank is a statewide organization. We have facilities in Boise, Lewiston, and Pocatello. And from those three locations, we serve 400 community partners across the state. So we're a statewide organization, but we really focus on having a local touch that allows people to have access to the food that they need. Gotcha. Now statewide, the National Guard is lending a hand to you. How does, how does this benefit the food bank and making sure rural areas are included? You know, we're so grateful to the servicemen and women who have joined us during this challenging time. Uh, they're doing a variety of things from working in our warehouses, helping to box food. Uh, they're also working at mobile pantries that are in high need areas or very rural areas so that they can provide that food where there is no other food pantry available. Perfect. Now, of course, uh, dangerous time for everybody right now. What is the food bank doing to make sure volunteers are staying safe? I'm so glad you asked because it really is critical that we make sure that our volunteers and our staff are safe during this time. So as um, an essential service, we are up and operating and we do require the help of volunteers who are also considered essential during this time. That being said, it's critical that only volunteers that are low risk and able bodied join us. It's also really important that when people come in that they are practicing social distancing from the very beginning. So from the time that people arrive at any of our facilities, they're asked to remain six feet apart. That's all the way through check-in and instruction. And then we're making sure that our group sizes are 10 or less and that we're again practicing that social distancing. As of always, the food bank really focuses on good hygiene, and so we're washing hands before and after. We're also gloving, and we are strongly recommending that people bring their own mask with them when they come to volunteer, or we do have some masks available. Perfect. And Morgan, we're just about out of time, so last question. Where can people find out more information in case they want to volunteer or help out? Absolutely. Go to the IdahoFoodBank.org. If you go to our food assistance locator, you can find help if you do need food assistance. You can also find your local pantry, and I would really encourage you to reach out to them. And that's also where you can make a donation if you're able. Perfect. All right, Morgan, thanks for joining us this morning.